All right, actually, just to make sure, because I want to keep this nasty pink-looking suit. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna play even more, even I, even though I need to go. So let's pick up my Schubert, Ascot Bailey, sports car, my nasty pink suit. Actually, it's not that nasty. Just it's pink. I mean, you don't see a tough guy wearing pink, do you? I think there's a shirt called a tough guy. If you're a tough guy, you wear pink or something like that. So yeah, I'm a tough guy. If I wear pink, motherfucker. Is this record? Oh, is this is recording. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna do this until it saves automatically, and then I'm done. Cause I want. <laughs> we're gonna keep this pink suit. Definitely badass. Everyone wearing black suits and you got me just in there. It's just another group of people. I can just imagine that. Just me, an awkward person, just sitting there with a pink suit. Who even wants a pink suit? Seriously. Copper. Well, it's your fault. You should have gotten out of the way. Hey, Henry. Like my pink suit. I bought it just for you. Actually stole it. Hey, here he comes. Hey. What's up? Hey, Vito. Take a seat. All right, listen. I've been doing some research into Carlos' business. So? So, the only reason he had Clemente killed was because he was selling dope, too. And he was stealing his customers. Now he just needs to get rid of one last obstacle. The one guy who could fuck things up and ruin his plan to become the main supplier for the whole city. Frank Vinci. Where'd you get all this? I talked to a few people I trust. Okay, so what does this have to do with us? Cause, if he can do it, why can't we? A kilo of heroin costs 2,500 bucks over in France. Then it's another thousand bucks to get it here. And? And we pick up 11 grand for just driving the stuff to the dealers. That's 7,500 bucks profit a mm. kilo. Yeah, but what about Falcone? Carlo won't find out. And even if he does, he'll just threaten us and demand a cut. All right, but if Carlo's the only big supplier in the city, where are you gonna buy the stuff from? I'm way ahead of you. What do you two know about the Tongs? The Chinks? <laughs> Some kind of organization for Chinese immigrants, right? That's what I said, the Chinks. <laughs> it's also a front for their other operations. They run the Chinese quarter, and they keep to themselves. But some of them are interested in doing business with outsiders, and they need middlemen since most people are afraid to deal with them. And we're the middlemen. Yep. They'll give us 10 kilos to start. For how much? 35 grand. And we can sell it for... 110. <whistles> nice. Okay, well, where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 35 grand? I know a loan shark. The it over on Palisade. I think a loan is 35, we give him 45 back. Now that means our take is over 20 grand a piece. Not bad for just moving the shit from one place to another. But you know, who's gonna end up using this crap? What do you care? As long as it isn't an hour Because Vinci was right. Drugs are bad news. They kill people. Look, what, you gonna go with fucking Mr. Mackey on me? Dead beats and losers. If they want to kill themselves so badly, I'll gladly help them out. Especially for 20 grand. I got buyers in the ghetto. They'll take care of the distribution. So we don't need to worry about that. Are you guys in or not? Sure. I'm in. Come on, don't be stupid, Vito. 20 fucking grand in one afternoon. <sighs> when? Right now. If we don't take the offer. The towns will just find somebody else. Come on, Vito, it'll be a piece of cake. Let's go see Bruno then. Vito, how about you want us all down there? He's on Palisade Street. Okay, let's go. Alright. I mean, I guess if they want to kill themselves so bad, like he, like he said, I mean, I would gladly help them out. Where's my car? Oh, we need a three, pe three car, don't we? Three person car, great. Came in here, my Schubert. I came in here with my Bugatti. It's the Bugatti of now. Of the 50s. Where the fuck is the fucking road? Oh, up top here. Excuse me, sir. My mistake, sir. No, fuck you. So we can't take that. Because two seater. Yeah, I know. We have to steal a car. Triple murder. 
I'm gonna take this car. Nope. How you doing, cops? Lovely day we're having. Now let's do it. Go, 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 go. Let's go. We got it. Just go get drugs. So who's this guy we're gonna see, Harry? His name's Bruno. He's one of the only guys in town who could do a loan this big. What if he doesn't give it to us? Then what? Then the deal's off. But don't worry, I know this guy. He'll give us the money. There ain't nobody else we can get this kind of money from? There's three of the guys I know of. But if you want to ask Carlo or Frank Vinci for 35 grand, be my guest. Yeah, no thanks. Who's the third guy? He ain't in business no more. Somebody blew up a room full of his guys and shot him point blank in the face with a Tommy gun. Oh, that guy. Come on, we said we wasn't gonna talk about that. <laughs> All right, so, Henry, what is this guy, Rich or something? I think he gets his money from some of the bosses from out of town who sit on the commission. Yeah? Oh, shit. Yeah, which is why we can't stiff the guy. Besides, we gotta keep this quiet. Can we trust him? Sure. Wise guys gonna borrow money from this guy forever. As long as we pay him back on time, we won't have a problem. Hey, genius. Red light means stop. All right, stop right here, Vito. All right. Me and my pink suit be rocking that pink. See back here. <laughs> Knock over trash cans. Hi fellas, we're here to see Bruno. Hiya, Henry. If you got guns on you, put them down there. I gotta search you. Hiya, Bruno. Hello, Henry. So, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company today? I need 35 grand and $20 bills. Oh, that's a lot of money, Henry. A lot of money. Tell me, why should I give that much to a small-time guy like you, huh? Convince me. I got a short thing. You'll have 45 by the end of the week. What kind of sure thing? Sorry, Bruno. That's a trade secret. Then 45 is not enough. I'd be more comfortable with 60. Damn. It's steep, even for you. 50 is all I can do. Henry, Henry, I have no guarantee I'll get my money back. And you have nowhere else to go. So, how about 60? Don't think of it as interest. It's more like my cut of the profits. 55, final offer. Anything more than that, it's not worth my time. Deal. I'll give you $35,000 today, and you'll give me $55,000 by Friday. If you don't pay it back by then, the debt goes up by $10,000 every week. You'll get it by Friday. Okay. Isaac, prepare $35,000 and $20 bills. Isaac, that's definitely a Jew name. To trust you, Henry, but if you screw me... Remember these wise words from the Bible. And my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. Exodus, chapter 22, verse 24. <laughs> I'm impressed. You don't seem like the church-going type. Uh, but just remember, the money isn't mine. So even if you get rid of me, that doesn't get rid of your debt. Thank you, Isaac. You want to count it, Henry? I'll take your word for it, and I'll bring it back on Friday along with your cut. I hope so. Good luck, boys. You want to count it? Yeah, I'll be gladly sit there and count. 35 grand and 20s. Alright, saving. So we're gonna end it here. It's my next like killing me for some reason. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and all that stuff. 
So it makes me happy in the pants. I see that. See you no. Know. I shouldn't have said that. I'm gonna shut up now. Thanks for watching. And click.